Hey, what's up, GG? Quibbles back today to play Caitlyn, the Sniper Master. Here are the runes, masteries, skill distribution, and items that you'll need to headshot anyone to oblivion. Learning phase. Always rush through your lane at lightning speed to put your traps here and there to protect you from getting hit off by some because of the enemy jungler. See, even an Evelyn that doesn't need to hide in a brush got caught in the trap you set up. If Steven wants to kill you, run in the brush with your butt fucking friend, long shot her to deal some mini damage, and heal before you die to piss off that fuckabish. There are four ways to kill a Sona hiding in the brush. First, you can have a ward to know where she is, auto attack her while staying in the brush to trigger your passive faster, and finish your tree way with a long shot. Second, put a trap in this brush to have a quick vision of her, and if she stupidly steps on it, Long shot her to deal some mega damage and not attack her until she dies. Third, simply run in there like fuck a bitch to have a quickie with a beauty before she can flash away to safety. Fourth, harass her with your butt fucking friend and flash there to finish her off if she's almost dead. Usually, when playing any AD carry champion, it's always better to auto attack the enemies and immediately move near them every time to stick your sniper in their ass. But if you have a butt fucking friend that knows how to play his champion, you won't need to do that, no problem! And whenever your jungler comes to gank your lane, your opponents can forget to try to run away and they'll never come back ever again. Late game, you'll be so fed that you'll be able to exterminate that graves without trying. To trap, long shot, exhaust combo at cocky fit called failure while sending him to oblivion with a headshot before he brings you their rhythm to make scorpion waste his flash before stealing his skill and destroy that kiddo's satellite to piss him off. Skill tips! Caitlyn's passive is great to piss off the enemies, to revenge your final teammate, to finish off a Chinese spear having fun with 3 sexy ladies, to finish off the dragon even before Ezreal steals it with his ultimate to get all the glory in the world. Your headshot skill is awesome to finish off the dashing Grady Fox while being in a safe spot, to unnecessarily use it against her a second time just to make fun of her, to kill a running beauty, someone that lost his will to live, and not Kia's master. But, Use that skill after your teammates does all the work to kiss them and they will be so pissed off that they will always start with that desperately to get a single kill which result in a good failure. Combine that skill with your long shot and you'll show anyone who's the true AD carry. Your trap skill is the best to cover your back whenever you want to control dragon at all time and to gain a brief vision on an area to reveal any nearby enemies. And you should place it in a spot to cover your back while you have a 5 sum with that kiddo because it will reveal an invisible Rengar that won't be able to savagely jump on you since you scared the shit out of him. Your long shot skill should be used after your butt fucking friends to farm faster than ever and to kill some minions while being safe. But use it to farm and to harass the enemy at the same time to win your lane like no one. Caitlyn's long shot skill is the best to finish up any running enemies and even stop this RC helicopter from flying away to safety. If you're in trouble, doing a double team Tarik stun Caitlyn long shot OP minion attacks combo will do the job. Don't forget to use it if you want to cast your whole team chasing a yellow cat, to combine it with your net skill to finish off that beauty and to simply help this slow fat ass kill that red lizard faster. Your net skill will let you pass through the trees for whatever reason, so effectively use it to join your team on a raid to kill a gen 1 from Resident Evil. To co 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 the jungle by sending the female rangers to kill the KS master so he doesn't come to his jungle ever again. To escape before you get into a weird firesome or an incoming threesome. To kill anything instead of using your auto attack and to troll Timo's father if you combine it with flash. Ninja ganking like a real sniper. If you want to gank with your team, never stick in the same brush as your teammates because you need to stay in the back to snipe any unlucky fuckabish that tries to run away from your surprise party. If Evelyn thinks she can escape because of her invisibility and her speed boost, she's got more training to do and custom games. If you see a Sylvia trying to farm peacefully near her base, crumble her world by coming here, put a trap in front of the tower and enjoy your quickie with her. Now that she's dead, destroy the enemy's base while staying near the trap you set up before because you'll be able to kill a girly ninja that savage you jump on it, no problem. Ganking someone from the back with your whole team is an easy job because you'll separate the enemy team in two so you can enjoy some free kills without worrying about dying. On your way to counter jungle, you might see a human barbecue standing there so just attack the hot dogs to gain some pocket money and last hit the enemy to piss off your teammates. If a Tariq dares to face check this brush, just auto attack him from far away until he dies and back off to counter jungle even more. If Rengar savagely jumps on you, use a flash heal net combo to get away and kill him from the other side of the trees. Great success! 
Team Fight! Caitlyn Syringe is so great that she can attack that crying mommy without worrying about his ultimate and kill him, no problem! After that, you can proceed with a headshot that no one will intercept to kill a running Tariq because he became useless in that fight. Then move on to the dashing Gertie Fox to get the most lazy triple kill in history. If your team is getting wiped by this purple flying Farkabitch, you should run away to a nearby tower before he gets a chance to kill you. When you get there, auto attack these greedy Farkabitches that desperately tries to get a Fanta kill because they want it for whatever stupid reason. When Malzahar is all alone in your base, you can slowly enjoy your one night stand with him to piss him off. Because of that, be prepared to be threatened by him and if he really comes to exact his revenge. Run in the brush, put a trap there and make him waste his flash while running away until your friends come to sexy party with him. If you're late for a party, use your ghost to catch up with your team and kill anyone near you. Then move on to that running archer to show her who's the best AD carry of this game and poke that blind fucker bitch that doesn't know who's scratching him from the back. After that, chase your nemesis, avoid getting hit by his skill, let someone else take the tower because you're a pussycat and punish him for running in there without mana. That's it for today people, don't forget to check out my channel for more boring League of Legends video. Feel free to leave a comment in any language you want, but I'll only answer those in English and in French because I'm a racist fuck bitch. Ciao soon!